right guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Today you join me as I go and pick up a Mitsubishi Shogun Sport, which has recently arrived with us in parts exchange. I haven't had one of these cars for years, so I thought it'd make an interesting video. They're usually scruffy, battered farm trucks, which have been owned by horsey people, so I thought it'd make for a fun video. I've not seen it yet, but I have read the description, and it did make for quite an entertaining read. For example, the front bumper is being held up by tape, and the radio's missing. Quite why, your guess is as good as mine. Stereos are worth about 30 pence nowadays, aren't they? So why anyone would take it with them? I haven't got a clue. Ordinarily, I'd just sell this kind of thing on within the trade. It's not really worth getting involved with. But it is winter, we've had snow all week, and as you probably worked out from the videos, I do live in quite a rural area, so there's always a demand for cheap four-wheel drives. It's done just under 100,000 miles, so it's not exactly high mileage. And I think it's a Trojan spec or a Warrior spec. I think it's got leather anyway, so fingers crossed it might be a decent one. If it drives okay and there's some MOT left on it, there might be some more life in this yet. Speaking of four-wheel drives, don't forget my Defender raffle is taking place this Monday, Monday the 10th of January. Ah, that was a Nissan 300ZX. You don't see those every day, do you? Anyway, if you haven't bought a ticket for the Defender, then do check out the link below to Raffle Shack and make sure you're in with a chance of winning it. I've got it booked in this week for an MOT because it's due to run out soon, so it will come with 12 months MOT, just in case you were wondering. Anyway, let's go and look at this Shogun Sport, shall we? I still haven't invested in any wellies, so these poor Chelsea boots are about to get very muddy. Well, here it is. It's a late 2006 Mitsubishi Shogun Sport. Now, because it's a late 2006, that means it's going to fall into the high road tax bracket, so this will be the best part of £600 a year for tax, which is a bit of a con, really. I think when a car get, reaches a certain age, it should just fall in line with the rest. There's the strap holding the front bumper on. Don't think that was factory. Got a few scuffs around it, hasn't it? These always seem to tarnish as well. I think they're uh, a different. Oh yeah, the plastic. That's why. Right. It's painting. Really need to get myself a pair of wellies, don't I? But it's got decent tyres on it. We've got plenty of tread on. Ah, Trojan, that's what I was thinking. Did I call it a warrior before? Trojan, I meant. We've got a scuffed wing mirror. Lots of little scratches over it. I think some of those would buff back. It's got the side steps. The wheels are a bit of a mess. More scuffed bumpers. Scuffed wheel arches, sorry. That was cracked and damaged too. Hmm. What am I doing with this? What am I doing with this? Got a tow bar. It's got Rossi stickers all over it, so I imagine they've used this to tow a bike trailer rather than big heavy plant machinery. So that's good, although the tow bar is quite rusty. Yeah, more damage. Think bike, think biker. Well, we've got matching Toyo tyres with, I would say, five or six mil of tread. More lack of peel on the wheel arch there, so they need painting and a good buff. Mm, so far the description was quite accurate, wasn't it? Oh yeah, rotten wing, look at the state of that. That's a mess, isn't it? I wonder if I could buy a cheap wing somewhere, from somewhere, eBay or somewhere. I would say it's had a new offside headlamp because that one's all misted up and that one isn't. We've got matching number plates, which is a good sign. What else can I see? No obvious dents or anything, so it's really just just been used as a workhorse, hasn't it, really? Nothing too bad on it, but there's lots of little bits on it. We've got two keys. No remote locking, unfortunately. That doesn't even work, hang on. There we go. Well, we've got full leather interior. That's actually not in bad condition. It needs a good vacuum, but I was expecting this to be all ripped, but it isn't. Hmm, the steering wheel's not in bad nick either. They always seem to rip around the top where people grip them, but that's in pretty good condition. Let's look around it then. Hmm, it's quite clean this actually. I've seen these in much, much worse condition. Had something screwed in down there. 
no sunroof, which is probably a good thing. Apart from a clean, the interior is actually not bad. Yeah. Crack speak, uh, speaker cover there. Let's have a look in the boot. Oh. Got a full size spare that's in decent condition with a Bridgestone tyre that, again, is in decent condition. Parcel shelf here, that's good. Just wants a good clean, doesn't it? Get rid of all this moss and mud. Mitsubishi mats. Is there any service history? There's an owner's manual for a Pajero that is the wrong car. One a pound, look at that. By the way, I should say at this point I paid £1,200 for this car, so at least now I've found that pound, it'll only owe me £1,199. Pretty optimistic, haven't you? Let's have a look under the bonnet. Now, this 2.5 litre diesel engine, they are quite durable. They have a timing belt which needs to be replaced, not a, uh, not a chain. And if there's no history at all, I'd want to get that done. Oh, I wonder what that means. Is that a... Hmm, no, it's just a sticker, isn't it, for the, for the air filter. I thought that might be a sticker to say that it's had, that it's, it's had its cam belt done, but... It's got a battery fitted recently. It's not all corroded, it looks fairly, fairly new. Hmm, a few little leaks around there, but I suppose on this age of car you'd expect it. Bit of corrosion, a bit more corrosion down there. Well, should we fire her up? Oh, look at that, cable tie. Call me sad, if you like, but I quite like this era of show. I've had that many of them. I was going to say, let's check out which radio station it was saved to, but he's taking it with him. What sort of crank takes the radio? They're absolutely worthless. It's just more of an inconvenience for me now to try and find another one to put in there. Two cup holders. Just wants a good clean, doesn't it, really? See what we're working with. I like all this up here. Reminds me of the show that my parents had as kids. Not that a compass or altimeter is absolutely necessary on the school run, but folding mirrors work. Although they are very, very loud. Uh, has it been smoked in? Oh, look at that. Maybe once. Storage there. Mm, some ash there. Might have to test out the four wheel drive to get it off this boggy field. Well, I quite like this in a funny sort of way. Sounds as sweet as a nut. It's done 97,620 miles. And we've got air conditioning, we've got a couple of holes in the dash. Or is that a phone holder, I imagine? But so far, no warning lights. Gear. Right, right then, let's see if we can get off here without getting stuck. I can feel us spinning a little bit. Well, we're not smoking too badly either, so perhaps it has been serviced fairly recently. It's been years since I've driven one of these, you know, and I do quite like them. They used to be Correct me if I'm wrong, they used to be called the Challenger, and at some point they've had a rebrand. God knows why they went with the name Shogun Sport though, it's about as sporty as Gilbert Grape's mother. That's a nice contemporary reference for you. Well, so far, we've managed to get into first, second. It's rear wheel drive, so we've got a bit of spin there. Well. 
This was the same engine that went in the Mitsubishi L200, I believe. I've had a few over the years that have had blown head gaskets. But apart from that, they're generally quite tough. It's very sloppy to drive, but then I don't think that's a fault with this particular car. I think they're all like that. The steering's very wayward. And look at the gear stick, right. I'm in fourth gear right now. Look how much movement there is. There's something quite charming though about driving something like this. It's a bit like driving an old Defender, you've really got to work it. Obviously this is way nicer to drive than an old Defender. Way more luxurious. And yet strangely worth about a tenth of what the Defender would be. My heater works because my face is melting. I think, you know, what we'll do is take this for a quick £10 wash and dry in the village. See what it looks like. See if we can turn this sow's ear into a silk purse. What do you reckon? I'll be back in a minute. Well, that was the best £10 I've ever spent. They've done a really good job, and it's actually still got some shine to it. Just ignore that rust patch there. It's come up all right, hasn't it? Hmm. Maybe I'm being a little bit optimistic, but those, even those wheels look all right. That one, not so much, but the inside's cleaned up quite nicely. And bear in mind this has just had a very quick wash and vacuum. Not bad at all, is it? While I was sat waiting for it at the car wash, I checked the MOT history, and it has a predictably short MOT. So I think what I'll do on Monday is run it back down here for an MOT test, get it up on the ramp and see how bad it is. So thank you once again for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'll leave the link below. And yeah, have a good evening. Cheers guys. I'll see you next time.